that gate. Has it always been that big? It's definitely expanding, but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The red strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. Alright. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So, should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear, but I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca. Though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course, it's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right, let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. Kasane, we'll be waiting for you. If I had taken a wrong turn, you'll lose the honor of our family. You can't stay here. I'm sorry. You'll regret it. I'm ready. It's her. Ready yet, Yuito? <laughs> Not yet, Mommy! <laughs> uh, uh, 
mummy is good at hide and seek, so I have to hide really well. Don't go too far. I won't. Maybe over there is good. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Where could Yuito be? This works. I'll be okay here. Mommy can't see me. I'm going to find you right away. Uh, uh. Mommy? Huh. Who is that? Oh, you're Kasane. Oh, I... Huh? One day I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother... What do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the Red Strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-Red Strings to transfer data across time. To Red Strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Uh, is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Huh? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunat Gate. Death? Why? Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Huh? Alright. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Mommy? Where are you going? Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. It's all right. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be all right. Then we'll go to the future. I'll be all right. If that happens, Mommy will go somewhere with that lady. I don't want her to go. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! No, she'll find me here. No. Get to a shelter! Hurry! You there! Where's your mother? Isn't she here? Uh... My mommy is... Don't look! Get to the shelter, understood? Does Please stay calm! Head over here! Uh, retreat to the nearest shelter! Uh, 
in time. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. Oh. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah. Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you alright? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. What's wrong? Are you okay? Yuito, are you okay? Yuito, snap out of it. That's right. I remember now. It was Kasane. She's the one who saved me back then. Oh, right. Kasane. It's the same as the vision Babe showed us, which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuito... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while, so let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. 
But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither Nuhimuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals, or so they say. So, the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. The circumstances are unfortunate, but it's good you got to see your mom again. Yeah, but it's also sudden. I don't know what to say to her. It's been years. You must have a lot of things you want to talk to her about, right?
What should I say to mom when she wakes up? There's so much I want to talk to her about. Thank <laughs> you.